What's going on? Welcome back to 100% NUFC. So breaking news coming from Newcastle United. Mo Diome has been released by the club as of today. I'm speaking Wednesday afternoon. And I have to say, I'm not surprised that he's been released by Newcastle United because as of the season just gone, he struggled to get into the first team picture. Now, a bit about Mo Diome. So we signed Mo Diome in 2016. 17 season when we got relegated to the championship and he was decent you know when he first signed i mean of course he'd just been promoted with hull city to the premier league from the championship beating sheffield wednesday in the playoff final and i was quite surprised that he'd signed for newcastle united considering that he could have stayed with hull city to play premier league football but he didn't of course i mean yes we are a bigger club than hull city but he obviously was fascinated by the fans you know the ground and the chance of playing, you know, in front of 52,000 fans, you know, in the championship, you know, motivated him to come and, you know, same for Newcastle United. And I could see why we say Mo Diome in 2016, because when we got relegated, we needed some top end championship experience to get with to, well, back to the Premier League, you know, from uh, the championship. And of course he did that and you can't fault his efforts, you know, when he played for Newcastle in, you know, the championship, he put in some good performances. You know, solid championship midfielder, you know, got with some goals. And you'll remember him most likely when he scored against Brighton. Of course, it came off his shin, however way it went in. You know, he scored a goal. And it, that goal, you could say, maybe would have been the difference of, between us winning the championship and potentially finishing second. Then, of course, obviously, we got promoted to the Premier League. He was a key figure, of course, uh, in the middle of the season when we lost to some key players in that midfield and we were struggling and he come in and he done a good job you know when we finished you know 10th in the premier league the first season uh, back and he put in a good shift now that good partnership alongside john joe shelby and it just went from there really and he was probably expecting in the season just gone that he was going to get a few more games under his belt of course it didn't happen and there was a thing in his contract where if he was to get a new deal he would have to play the last couple of games of the season that didn't happen for one reason or another and he was sweating on a new contract now of course he's now left the football club what's going to happen to Mo Diome? you know is he any good i still think he's a good player but i don't think he's good enough for uh, newcastle united i don't think he's good enough you know, for the premier league he's at that age now where he's you know 31 going on 32. we all know if it's mike ashley's owner at the current stage he doesn't like older players at the football club he wants to shift them on and get younger players and has Mo Diome still got it? Now, he probably has, you know, for a team that's going to get promoted from the Championship. So he's looked at like Sebastian Villa, Sheffield United, Norwich, he'd do a good job there. He'd do a job in the Championship for, you know, clubs going for promotion back to the Premier League or clubs going for promotion, you know, such as Leeds United, Derby County. He's still got it. And yeah, I'd still like to see Mo Diome, you know, progress. I still think he's a decent player, but I just don't think he really fits, you know, our system and how, you know, we go about doing things. and. I have to say, you know, he's got a good attitude. He's always spoken really well of the fans, the city. And he's always said that you'd love to have stayed at Newcastle United. But for me, I think it's time that he moves on, you know, to another club and that he progresses in his career. And wherever he goes, I wish him really well because when he has, you know, played for Newcastle, when he has represented us in that black and white shirt, he has given it 100%. And, you know, he'll not regret, you know, signing for Newcastle because he's made a big step in his career, you know, to play for a big club. And... He's got that promotion, you know, on his CV with Hull City and also with Newcastle United. And he's managed to, you know, make some, you know, new friends, you know, at the football club. He's made some, you know, friends within, you know, the playing staff, the players and all that. And, you know, I'll not forget him. You know, I think he's he was still key, you know, to us going forward. And, you know, fair enough, he didn't make the appearances that we he was expecting this season, just gone. But I'm sure, you know, at another club, He'll get the appearances that he needs, and he needs game time. You know, he can't just you know keep sitting on the bench. They expect him to get games, you know, given to him, and it's going to be tough for you know Rafa Benitez to pick him because he's got a lot more you know choice now. You know, Almiron coming in, you know, Shelby obviously didn't play as much as he could have done, but I don't know. There's competition now with Newcastle, but like I say, whatever happens to Mordi Army, I wish him all the very best, and that's just my opinion on him. I think he done well. And I just think he needs to, you know, get games elsewhere. Anyway, what's your thoughts about the situation regarding Mo Diorme? I know the likes of Carl Roberts has left Newcastle as well, but I'm sure we'll be planning for the summer to try and get players in to try and take us to that next level. Anyway, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. And I'll catch you all later. How are the lads?